Hi, I'm Vicky Collett and I'm Global Quality Manager for a joint venture between Unilever and PepsiCo. The joint venture is responsible for the manufacture of iced tea with approximately 200 facilities worldwide and R&D centres in New York, Shanghai and Bedford. This fantastic picture is of one of our tea factories in Sri Lanka. It is at the very start of our processing operation and converts leaf tea plucked from gardens across Sri Lanka into the tea powders we use to make our Lipton iced tea. The first thing you learn when you join the joint venture, no matter what job you're in, is an appreciation of tea, how it is grown, plucked or harvested, the types of tea and their sensory characteristics, and of course, the heritage of the Lipton brand. I'd like to take you briefly through my career, how I got to my current role and what facilitated the changes in roles. I gained my degree in microbiology in 2000 before landing a job with Bayer AG. I worked in lots of part-time roles in pubs, restaurants and even a garage. Although not appearing relevant to a career in the food industry, those roles taught me a good work ethic and how to deal with people in a variety of different situations. To start off my technical career, I joined a scientific recruitment agency. They found me a temporary role in Bayer AG doing routine QC microbiology, testing raw materials and finished products. During my time in the role, I was asked if I'd like to do some project work on method validation, which I said yes to. This led to the second role at GSK, which I gained through the same recruitment agency as before. And in this role, they were looking for someone with previous method validation experience. I was lucky enough and worked hard enough to stay with GSK and move into a permanent role. And latterly, I became lab manager and gained experience in aseptic manufacturing. I was then called by a recruiter regarding a job in Britvic. Due to the experiences I had gained in aseptic manufacturing in GSK, the job was a massive step up, not only managing quality, but adding health and safety and environment. At this point, I say to you, do not worry if you don't tick all the boxes on a job spec. No one ever does. These gaps give you opportunities to develop in your role. And this was the case here. Britvic paid for me to do diplomas in health and safety and environmental management whilst doing this job. So while at Britvic, I was involved in a project to start contract packing Lipton iced tea on our aseptic production line. I moved from Britvic to Pepsi because I was recommended for a role that came up by someone I used to work with at Britvic. Then the role at Pepsi Lipton came up. I'd worked with the current role holder before in Britvic when we started co-packing iced tea. So I just gave him a call to learn more about the role and what kind of person they were looking for. The rest, as they say, is history. Critical experiences and the people that you meet along the way are essential for your career success. So what jobs are available in the food industry? You'll meet many people and hear about lots of different roles in the industry today. I have a simple way of looking at the industry and what roles could be available and how you can apply them to almost any product. This is done by looking at the finished product, deconstructing it, and understanding what jobs need to be done to create the product. Take this bottle of Lipton iced tea, break it into its parts, the liquid and its ingredients, the packaging and its artwork, the manufacturing assembly of those two together. Every step of making and selling and designing this product has a job associated with it. Trace each part of the product backwards and ask yourself questions such as, it has to be made somewhere. How is it made? Where do the ingredients come from? How are they safe? What needs to be done to make the product that I can see before me? How do they need to be converted? How do they make it taste the same all the time? Any question you have about the product will likely have a job associated with it within the food industry. If we take the example of the bottle of iced tea, we just looked at, we can use it to understand the day-to-day -day requirements of a quality manager job. My job is to make sure that that bottle and its contents are the best quality for our consumer and customers. How do I do this? Ensuring that we buy the right raw materials from the right people to the right specifications. Making sure the product is developed to be stable and tastes as the consumer expects it to. Ensuring that standards are in place for manufacturing to make sure the product is processed correctly. 
there are no food safety risks and the product is consistent. Providing training to people to make sure the product is made to the best quality. Measuring our performance through metrics such as analytical testing and consumer feedback we receive. And then investigating when things do go wrong and putting in place measures to stop them ever happening again. And finally, identifying areas we can improve to make our products even better. As a technical manager, this is what my day-to-day -day job is, minus the global travel, given the current situation with COVID-19. And not to forget, I am a manager, and therefore the other essential part of my role is to have regular catch-ups with my team to talk to them about how they're doing, their performance, self-development, and provide them with any feedback. A few tips for you to make yourself successful. Number one, it is great if you know what you want to do and have a long-term career plan, but it's also okay if you don't know what you want to do. If you're not sure, start a list of the things that you don't like doing and can't ever imagine yourself doing. If you can start with what you don't like and why you don't like it, it will make it easier to whittle down the remaining options. Look at different jobs and the skills required for them. Have one-to-ones with people already doing jobs that you think you might like. Ask them about the role to work out if it's something you think you'd really enjoy. If it is, identify what you need to do to be ready to do that role. And don't be afraid to ask people and talk to them about each of those jobs. Number two, INTJ. This is my Myers-Briggs profile. Myers-Briggs is just one type of personality profiling that is available. There are many if you do a quick search. Use such personality tests to understand what kind of person you are, what your preferences are, how you best like to work. Then compare it to other people you work with or need to influence. Understand there are key differences between people and how they work. Flex yourself and the styles that you use to get the best out of others, or at least try to meet them halfway. Number three, say yes to whatever opportunities present themselves. Be brave and go outside of your comfort zone. Key tip for me, if you ever get a chance to sit in on an interview, say yes. It gives a brilliant idea of what the interviewer is looking for and allows you to experience interviewing from the other side of the table. Number four, use professional development frameworks such as the excellent ones that the IFST have. These allow you to create a structured development plan for your technical and interpersonal skills and allow you to review your competency against an established standard. Thank you for listening today. I wish you lots of fun in your future food industry careers.